and they, I'm an alien, and I love to roam around and do things. So I can do acrobatics. Like I can just do this. I need to grab my foot. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for a circus show. Hey, what's up guys? This is Byron the Multiple Interest Man here. And uh, today I am doing a re-review on one of Lee Production's Food Vol's most popular shows of 2018. It focuses on Gravity Defy, and it's kind of similar to Circuit Imagine. It's not a movie called Gravity from 2013, and it's not even Gravity Falls either, you know. But this show is actually called Gravity, a Cirque Experience. Now before I get to the re-review, I just want to confirm that I did do a review on Gravity back in January, but now that I think about it, as I've seen the full version of it on YouTube, I decided to give you an update regarding the show that I've known for a while. Now the plot is where you get these three astronauts, the main astronauts and two bikers, who land on a mysterious planet called Planet 3628. Believe it or not, you can breathe on that planet because there's air on Planet 3, uh, 3628. They explore the planet to see what it's like, and do a fun acrobatic performance. The main astronaut, um, as the original was portrayed by Phil, tries to take selfies. But mischief happens when the aliens pop out. The aliens in the show are a dark green wiggly alien who has eyes in his arms, Babette who is a green alien and walks like a Chinese dragon, a black alien who can do laser talent, three blue aliens who can do anything, two purple aliens who have in common, and an orange female alien leader, the original was portrayed by Ariane, who can speak French. Throughout the show, they do acrobatic performances and some comedy. Uh, meanwhile, the main astronaut is surrounded by security aliens, and he has to find a way to save his pals who were taken by the aliens themselves. Uh, when he gets caught, he's about to get attacked by them and gives a glass baseball back to the orange alien. They do a lot of dancing and acrobatic performances while getting along. In the end, the astronauts take off and leave the planet after experiencing an unexpected home that the multicolored aliens live on. So that's basically the plot of Gravity. You know, when it comes to Cirque shows, they know what they're doing because they put in, into the effort with both acrobatic performances and dramatic theater. Plus, they add a storyline like what they do with Cirque du Soleil. And a Cirque-style show is usually something that most other countries, except France, I mean France and Canada, have never had before. And yes, the Cirque shows like these are French. I also learned that Cirque shows are not just for kids, or just for teenagers, or just for adults. They're for everyone of all ages. That's what they are, and they're better than a typical circus that you might have seen when you were a kid. You know, I also learned that Gravity is a show that's meant to be seen once, but several people watch it over and over, which is kind of crazy. It's complicated because when you see it for the first time, it's just the same. But when you see it the second time, it's different. It's extremely amazing like other types of shows like ice shows, stunt shows, magic, uh, magic shows, Broadway musicals, country shows, musical revenues, even the ones with live bands, uh, character shows, and even parades. Most of them are very cool, other than kids' shows that are in kids' areas in theme parks. In fact, the children's shows these days, like Charlie Brown, I mean, like the Charlie Brown shows, the puppet shows, or any shows for the little ones don't even work because they're mainly for children. This entertainment, like Cirque shows, is just amazing in general, no matter what. From the music to the background design, the acts to the costume design, the making of the show to the story the line they tell. It's just awesome. If you have seen any Cirque du Soleil shows in your life, you can tell that they know what they're doing. Well, don't get me wrong. There were a few shows that the company made that really did not work for me. But Food Vault has really stepped up their game when they created something that's even more spectacular. I mean, everything about the show was just incredible. Uh, the comedy was decent. The acrobatic performances were amazing, like always. I mean, they are and they always will be. Uh, the background is nicely well done. The music 
has an awesome futuristic vibe. The logo looks really gorgeous. And the plot makes a lot of sense to the title. This is really awesome. Bill did an excellent job as the main astronaut. Ariane did a nice job as the orange alien, especially with her language. And I thought the rest of the cast members did an awesome job as well. I even love the modern day references with the music, the floss dance from Fortnite, and the selfie scene. I would like to see other theme parks to get a show like that because I find it really insane. And that's why I give Gravity Circuit Experience four and a half out of five stars. It's one of the most amazing shows I've ever seen. Uh, sadly, I never got to see in person when it was at King's Island, but I know it's at King's Minion. I may not see it in, in Virginia, sadly. Well, I already watched it on YouTube several times, and it was epic. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I highly recommend seeing it at King's Minion since the one on King's Island is dead because with each show, it has a two-year run. Though it's a lot of fun for everyone to experience. So that's my review on Gravity of Circuit Experience. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and, and hit the notification bell. I may do some more re reviews in the, like this in the future, but we'll see. Thank you for watching, and this is Byron signing off. Peace. Get it?